None of these, however, uh, seem to suggest or require liquid water in any way. Until recently, we found, found something that had slipped our attention previously that uh, is, is quite different from all this other activity in terms of the particular environmental requirements and its behavior. We have this circumstantial evidence for, for water flowing on Mars. We have no direct detection of water. These slopes are far too warm for carbon dioxide frost. We have Phil Themis instrument on Mars Odyssey uh, to measure the temperatures, and we, we measure these temperatures on the 100 meter scale to be from about minus 23 to plus 27 centigrade, which is minus 10 to plus 80 Fahrenheit. So these are temperatures appropriate for, well, those above freezing are appropriate for even pure water, but uh, we expect water on Mars to be briny, to be salty. It could be from carried by gas. Uh, salts have this uh, interesting property of actually absorbing moisture from the air and it could be subsurface uh, gas flow as well from sublimating ice bodies, for example. The other possibility is that, uh, uh, so similar to what Lisa showed, there are actually pockets of brine uh, in the crust. And, you know, if there were very concentrated brines associated even with the, those chloride deposits that Phil showed that were quite an ancient, that briny water is cold enough to be stable over geologic time. So then you need some process by which it is, is brought and released to the surface. And these may be <clears throat> you know, low probability sorts of scenarios, but these are also rare features. So uh, that's where we are now in trying to understand this.